Welcome back to Television A7. Let's jump into it. Taraji P. Henson, she was on a podcast on Sirius XM Radio. And she was talking about how she's been working so much and how little that she still gets paid from working so much and how she feels like she's at the bottom. She just completely breaks down and... She says, it seems every time I do something and I break another glass ceiling, when it's time to renegotiate, I'm at the bottom again. I'm tired. So I'm going to let you guys hear the full clip of her on the podcast. Are you thinking about it? Um, mm. Mm. I'm just tired of working. so hard being gracious at what i do getting paid a fraction of the cost Mm -hmm. i'm tired of hearing my sisters say the same thing over and over Mm -hmm. um you get tired Mm -hmm. i hear people go you work a lot you have to Mm -hmm. the math ain't mathing Mm -hmm. and when you start working a lot you know you have a team Mm -hmm. big bills come with what we do we don't do this alone The Mm -hmm. fact that we're up is a whole entire team behind us. They have to get paid. So when you hear someone saying, oh, such and such made $10 million. No, that's not that. That didn't make it to their account. Mm -hmm. Know that off the top, Mm -hmm. Uncle Sam is getting 50%. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So do the math. Mm -hmm. Now we have 5 million. Mm -hmm. Your team is getting 30% or whatever your team is off of what you grossed. Not after what Uncle Sam took. Now do the math. Mm -hmm. So... I just I'm I'm a, I'm only human and and mm-hmm. it seems every time I do something and I break another glass ceiling when it's time to renegotiate I'm at the bottom again mm-hmm. like I never mm-hmm. did what I just did and I'm mm-hmm. just tired, tired. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm tired mm-hmm. I'm tired mm-hmm. I get that I get that. it wears on you you know because mm-hmm. what does that mean mm-hmm. what is that telling me what is it telling me yeah and what does it tell me Mm. Yeah, you know, and if I can't fight for them coming up behind me, then what the fuck am I doing? I'm sorry. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. So that was Taraji P. Henson. You can see her clearly breaking down there, frustrated, and it's unfortunate to see her like that. But I want to get into some of these comments um, that are here on the neighborhood talk someone says can i shake the table if more black actresses would have supported monique publicly years ago i wonder if we still be having as many of the same conversations about pay inequality monique always been right but y'all called her bitter angry and wanted to teach her a lesson just so we are clear i'm not just speaking about netflix she was calling it interest she was calling the industry out years before that about pay inequality and people expecting her to work for crumbs slash free let's talk about it what do you guys think about taraji p henson and being paid a little for her work this clip is giving me you guys remember that clip of left eye from tlc when she was talking about how tlc saw all these records and then they and they were still broke after that that's what this is kind of reminding me of but this that's crazy um taraji p Enton has been around for so many years she's been around a long time iconic movie roles empire is probably the biggest thing that she you know the biggest acting role that she's gotten um you know that's what really i won't say put her on the map because she was big like before that but i would say to where like mainstream and a whole different type of audience really was like taking notice of taraji p henson was that empire role but uh, a few more comments I'll read for you guys. The comments did what they needed to do. So proud of y'all. And I love me some Auntie Taraji. And I absolutely empathize. But facts are facts. Auntie Monique rang the alarm and no one stood with her. We gotta start supporting each other more. The tale of being a black woman in America. 
never mind that we are expected to outperform everyone else without ever bringing up discrepancies while making that low level wage sounds like she needs a better contract negotiator i negotiate my salary stop accepting low pay and demand more and state why you deserve more i feel sorry for her because she really does have range as an actor and should be paid what she is worth monique told us years ago Whew, you guys get the gist of these comments monique is coming up and not just about the netflix situation but in general so hopefully there will be a change soon with how these contracts are negotiated and how we can we just do right by people like hollywood as a whole is is like just one of the worst industries that you can work in like there's obviously perks to it but when it's dark and lonely it's dark and lonely and some of the stories that you hear about these celebrities and what they have to go through we've been hearing about christian keys and he's not the only one you know it's just a lot it's a lot behind the scenes it's a lot going on it's a lot going on so hopefully we can start to see some changes especially with the black women especially with the black women but all all in all that everything could just be how it's supposed to be you know but let me know what you guys think about that and um yeah it's just it's unfortunate all the way around but hopefully that will spark some changes coming but thank y'all for watching television 87 if y'all want to check out more of my videos i got one right here for you guys and i will catch y'all in the next one